I'm here for your February 2019 reading for Sun, Moon, or Rising. If this does not resonate Virgo with your sun, please check out your moon and your rising. We're going to get the rest of the zodiac up very shortly. I'm coming to you from the chateau, um, from the palisades, from the palace. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if uh, you are returning our frequent flyer, thank you for joining again. Uh, please like, consider subscribing, and share this video. And we're going to get into it. Virgo, I'm going to tell you something. Your reading had me a little perplexed. Uh, it had me quite a bit perplexed here. So let's see how this is really all going to shake out for you. Overall uh, energy here, we do have peacefulness with the Four of Swords. Like you find peace by the end of the month. It all kind of starts to settle in and settle down by the end of February. Um, we do have new thoughts, um, a paradigm shift with the Ace of Swords is what I see. A true paradigm shift, a completely new way of thinking or considering a situation, a process. Um, you, it's just your whole world's changing. How you look at it is completely changing. And then we also we have new partnerships coming on board with the three of crystals, which is like pentacles. And then with the five of crystals, I'm seeing this being a rather solitary journey for you. At the end, you find partners, and they could be your spiritual guides, could be ancestral, angelic. They don't have to necessarily be physical, but the path to them is a solo path. Okay, we start out the first week of February with the Five of Wands. Uh, I feel like even right now, you guys are kind of in the midst of some sort of conflict. Um, yeah, uh, co conflicting thoughts, desires with the Four of Cups. Conflicting according to what you've always been taught, what you always thought. And um, perhaps people are challenging it as well. With the Lover's card, this could be someone that's very close to you, Virgo. A life partner, a family member. Um, you guys are in very close uh, and kind of rather constant communication with the Page of Swords. But with the Seven of Swords, it's like they're trying to um, almost, it's like they're trying to change you, change you, okay? They're trying to change your thought process. They're trying to change your way of life. They're just, they're trying to change you. They're trying to change the way that you're viewing um, spirituality and so on and so forth. So, um, and, and well, you're viewing your life purpose almost. Um, so this is challenging because, you know, there's a lot of, um, and, uh, there's a lot of thought. There's a lot of desire. There's a lot of Virgo. It's like you are challenging within yourself, everything that you've known to be true up until this point. And you're really seeking to make a positive change in your life and, uh, really very spiritual, really very uplifting, really very, um, um, like earth changing right and for you being an earth sign to make this big shift is is a lot it took a lot for you to do this um so it's difficult when you don't have someone that's like riding alongside of you now for some of you you could be the ones that are fighting against the prick this can go both ways you could have an air sign potentially gemini i do also have water and we do also have fire so it could be really any sign, but this could be someone that's very significant in your life that's been trying to like help you to see things differently and helping you to shift your paradigm and you're kind of fighting against it too. You're taking it under great consideration. However, you're like, however, I'm not feeling it yet, just yet, okay? Then we have another five for the second week, the five of swords. So now we've gone from uh, kind of you know, fighting against the prick to now that's more contentious communication. Um, so at least you're, we've moved from, I don't want any part of it to I'm taking it under consideration. What else do we have to clarify that five of swords? Yeah. You're putting in a lot of work with the eight of crystals here. A lot of work. Okay. Um, you're really making a huge effort. And that's going to result with the Three of Cups in a time of, like, celebration. Like, you're going to get a release from all of this, like, 
you know, a release from, oh my gosh, this has been so, it's tough. Change for you guys is tough, I know. I get it. Um, especially because I feel like this with, even though that we've been under these energies with these inner the portals opening up and things like that, um, since last September, October ish, I would say, uh, it, this ain't been easy for you guys at all. Like it's been tough because even though for some of us, it's like, oh, well, okay, it is what it is for others of you. You're just like, are you serious right now? Like, I'm not doing this. It's too much of a shift. It's too much of a change, even though it's been months. For you, this is like seconds. So I understand. But breathe. By the end of the second week of February, breathe. You've come a long way. It's totally fine. You're going to be good. You're making it through. You've moved from, I don't want anything to do with a new way of thought, to, okay, we could do this. Remember, we're working towards peace by the end of the month and a paradigm shift. Third week, we have the Eight of Swords. What are you feeling trapped about that you could get yourself out of? Hmm? Why are you feeling trapped, beloved? Yeah, it's with the Three of Crystals. I think that there's a partnership a relationship, a situation you don't want to be in right now. And you don't know how to tell them you don't want to be in it. So, because it's not serving you any longer. It doesn't fit the new narrative, does it? You probably already know what this partnership is right about now. It could be a Pisces. could also be a water sign with the King of Cups. Um, you have love for them. In other words, you you appreciate them and you... Um, you know, respect them, but it's like, it's time to tell them, like, our time is done. You know what I mean? Like, our time's over. We've made a good run of it. We've had a good time of it, but our time's just over, unfortunately. Um, and I need to move on. But that's very difficult for you because you have mad respect for them. Um, but understand that, you know, sometimes people, people are in our lives for different reasons and for different seasons. And, and it's very few that are in our lives on a permanent basis. So it's okay. It'll be all right. Let, let it go. And then we're coming into the last, wow, letting them go is actually going to bring you into balance. Okay. Because they, with the seven of swords, they're not part of this new paradigm shift with the ace of swords here. They're not part of it. At least not in their current iteration. Maybe someday soon. In the future. A while from now. Last week we have the oppression card, which is the devil card, which is the card for Capricorn. Um, I feel like in order to get to your peace, you got to make sure that you're not holding on to... Here we go. Don't The sun is coming out. So you have the devil and you have the sun. You have hope and you have toxicity. You have bright new future and you have past that's holding you back. Typically when we're suffering some, some, from some sort of oppression or we cannot release a toxic situation in our lives, it's because of past trauma and past injury. So for some strange reason, we just can't seem to, to like let it go. Okay. Virgo, let it go. Like you have to, you're going to have to decide. And here's another Pisces card. If it is not a Pisces, it is somebody with a lot of water in their chart and they're keeping mad secrets from you. Like the moon has popped up. The seven of swords keeps popping up. They're keeping something from you. There's secrets that they don't want you to know either about themselves or yourself. But in order to move forward, and I feel like you're going to find secrets out about the past. Just knowledge you didn't have, not something that's necessarily like so crazy, like CIA, FBI kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's going to be something that's going to be very, um, it could potentially be very intense. And it's significant in the fact of how you have looked at yourself up until this point. How you have viewed you as an individual. And what you deserve, what you desire, what all of this, right? So it's really been very important in regard to that. Um, 
and these it's time for these secrets to come out and for people to stop holding them back and potentially it's secret about somebody else that you needed to know in order to know whether or not they really should be in your life going forward in a significant fashion or it's time to kind of release them because this really has been a burden on you with the Ten of Swords. And this is your tower moment. You have to decide if you're going to be the Four of Crystals and just decide to kind of walk away or really take on with the Page of Crystals this new wisdom and this new knowledge and this new way of being and manifesting and, and, and existing so that you can have the Nine of Cups energy where you're happy with who you are and you're fulfilled with who you just who you are you don't need anybody else you're not asking for anything else we're happy with where we are are at and then have a lot of self-respect and self-esteem with the queen of wands and here she is again with the darn high priestess and all these darn secrets if you don't find out what these secrets are and tell me honey tell me spill that tea i wants to know pour it from your child um Oh boy, yeah, you. it's time to have some really down and dirty. Sometimes it's not even really secrets, you guys. Sometimes it's just that somebody may have felt uncomfortable in expressing themselves, expressing their true feelings, expressing their true thoughts on a subject just because they didn't want to, like, it, like get to, into the Virgo, like, the Virgo vortex is what I call it. Because when you guys don't necessarily, sometimes, 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 I love y'all. Really, I do. But sometimes when y'all get a hold to an idea and this is what you believe and somebody else comes along and says, well, maybe you perhaps might be wrong about it. You go off that Virgo voiceover happens and it's like you don't hear nothing. You go into your vortex and the explosion that happens, the Virgo volcano, that's what I need to call it. The Virgo volcano, that explosion that happens, it's not pretty. And it's not even necessarily like. It's not even lava. It's not a fire sign explosion. It's just a lot of like ash. But it will smother the mess out of you. It'll choke you. It ain't gonna burn you, but that ash will choke you. Um, so they probably don't want to tell you because they don't want the Virgo volcano to erupt. But you need to listen to it because it's a thought change. That the whole process change that needs to happen. It's a tower moment for you. So they may be still the person that you have in your life, or you may decide you erupt and then they're not. And then maybe later on, you're just like, okay, well, maybe I should, should have listened to you. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think this is like a, some sort of permanent breakup. I just think this is a moment in time where, you know, you need to learn something from someone and they've not been telling you how they truly feel because they just don't want it. Right, so be open, Virgo, so you can find that peace at the end. But there's some toxicity in your life, either that's within yourself or other people, that you need to really see for what it is and release it so you can move to peace. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you so much for being with me. I so totally appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Um, the ways to contact me are below, and um, please do not forget to check out um. My website, HarvardInspiration.net, for uh, the opportunity to come to the conference that we're having, March 8th through the 10th, right here in Madison, Wisconsin, Propel Into Purpose. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.